The best way to get better at programming is to practice. In this example, we're going to look at using a switch statement to replace multiple if else blocks. As always, this start example code is available using a link provided below in the description. You can follow along or pause the video and attempt on your own and then check your answer. We'll pause for just a couple seconds to give you a chance to download and get ready. All right, so let's get started. In our previous example, we had a job code equals two. We have that here and we had multiple if else type blocks. That was good until you start to get to a lot of them. So let's look at what else we can do instead. Well, Java has something called the switch statement. It's a built-in statement that we can use. We'll say switch job code, and this is going to be what the job code is going to be. Then we have a block like this. Now, notice inside our braces, we're going to put what we call a case statement. So we're going to say case one colon. Inside that case, I'm going to write some code, whatever it is I need to do. And when I'm done doing that, I'm then going to put a break. If you've worked with languages like C or C++, this probably looks real familiar. Then, of course, I can have a case two colon. I'll do what I need to do there, and then I'll have a break. And I can repeat this on and on and on. This is a whole lot easier if I have a lot of different values and I'm looking for an exact match. Well, I can also come in here and have a default. This is my catch-all. What happens if that value was not found? Well, my default is going to catch it for me. It gives anything that's not in one of my cases, and I get the same effect. Most people find this to be a lot easier if I'm working with large amounts of code. Now, a couple of things that you do have to check for. So, for example, people ask, well, can I use this with a char? So, I'm going to put in char job letter equals a and if i come down here and say job letter you're going to notice that this is going to work that's because the char is a numeric data type which is represented as a character so this works then people are going to ask well what about things like a double So if I put in job decimal, you'll notice that I get an error. Switch is not going to allow any type of floating point value. So don't expect to be able to use job decimal or any other type of decimal notation. Floating points and doubles being the two most obvious. Finally, people ask, well, can I use string? And I might have something like a job title. So I'll use developer as an example. I'll put job title here. Notice that my error is not on job title, it's on the case. Why? Well, this is numeric as an integer. I need to have a string. So I can have manager like this, and I can have developer like that. And now notice that my errors have gone away. I can match strings. This is a little bit different from some other languages. And it's a nice feature in Java's switch statement. So we can switch on integers, chars, and strings. Something always helpful to remember. Hopefully you found this example helpful in learning how to use switch statement in Java. If so, please consider giving the video a like and following along the series for more examples on how to get better at programming.